Chief Washington correspondent, that's Major Garrett, joins us now. He is also the host, by the way, of The Takeout and Debriefing the Briefing podcast. I like the name of that. Major, good morning. It's always good to see you. <laughs> now, morning. the president has claimed that we have prevailed at testing. Many health experts, including his own, say, no, we're not really at capacity yet. So there seems to be a lot of mixed messaging here. Who was right in this particular circumstance? Gail, both are right. There's enough capacity for phase one, which means if you're symptomatic or you're part of contact tracing, you can get tested. And we have ramped up testing capacity in this country. And the administration has, through regulatory means and encouraging industry and supporting industry and working with Congress, funneling money, increased our testing capacity. That's true. That's not untrue. But it's not anywhere near enough. And what the president loves to do is oversimplify in brand. America leads the world in testing. That's a brand. You know what? COVID-19 doesn't care about oversimplification, it just spreads. And to reopen the economy fully, to get to phase two, phase three, we need much more industrial scale testing, and we're not there yet. And the simple truth is, and it's one the president simply does not in public want to recognize, is that without that dramatically increased testing capacity, we cannot confidently reopen the economy and keep it open through the summer and the fall. Why doesn't he want to recognize that, Major? It seems so clear to so many other people who are watching all of this <clears throat> unfold. Because it sounds defeatist, and it's not part of the president's sort of psychic message to the country that we can reopen and it's time to reopen. And this idea is transitioning to greatness. We can't get to greatness unless you have the testing capacity. Well, the president says, well, we've built it up. We've, we've improved over the last three or four weeks. And yes, we have improved, but not nearly enough. And Gail, let's go to the very specific optics of the White House. They're now wearing masks every day, which they weren't doing a week ago or two weeks ago. There's testing capacity every single day in the White House. So the average American might reasonably ask, is my house like the White House? No, it's not. You can't get tested every day. The White House does. On most matters, most days, most Americans don't want their house to be like the White House. It's a regal and special place. But in this case, with testing, most Americans, by the end of this, are going to need that kind of regular access to testing to build their own confidence, to have confidence in their workplace, to have confidence when they go to any kind of event where there are lots of people. All of those things are required to reopen our economy and be like the old normal. And without testing capacity, we simply cannot get there. Uh, Dr. Anthony Fauci who's, is going to be testifying today uh, remotely. What are you expecting to hear from him today? Well, we always hear from Dr. Fauci. There are hard truths here that as we reopen, there are going to be more cases and more deaths. Let's just look at this, Gail, really simply. On April 27th, the last time there was a task force briefing, about 1,700 deaths in the country, 1,900 deaths in the country from COVID-19. Yesterday, the projected number is about 1,700. So the death rate is not changing very much, and the case rate, despite what the president says, is rising. And Dr. Fauci will say what every public health official has said. The more we reopen, the more cases there are going to be. And we have to balance that risk. And doing that is not easy. But one of the things that makes it easier and more digestible is clear, consistent messaging from the highest officials in the land. And I think for this president and this White House, that has proved very, very challenging. Yeah. All right, Major. Thank you very much.